So let's talk about display modes. So right now you'll see that I have four digits after the decimal point. So this is probably a fix four mode. We've got three different modes. We have fixed, we have scientific, and we have engineering. Now in order to change the mode, let's say that I want to change that to two positions after the decimal point. I would do shift and then fix and then hit the number of points that I want. So two. So now we have two positions after the decimal point. If I enter in a large number, say 10,236.2145, and then I hit enter, now it will round it. It still shows the full portion before the decimal point, but the portion after it rounds for the purposes of the display to two decimal positions. Internally, it still stores the full accuracy of the number, but on the display, it will round to how many decimal points uh, decimal positions you have selected. Now scientific, if I go ahead and switch to scientific display and then how many positions, let's do three for that. Now scientific will always show you the number of decimal positions you have selected, one before the decimal, and then show you an exponent, so times 10 to the fourth, 1.024 times 10 to the fourth. Engineering will show me something similar, except it will always have the number as a multiple of three. And those are for scientific prefixes, so it could be uh, kilo, it could be um, pico, it could be micro, uh, mega. So all of those prefixes, times 10 to the sixth, times 10 to the third, times 10 to the minus ninth, those will be what the engineering mode will round to, is multiples of three. So those are the different modes. Again, if I were to have this same number, uh, but engineering, and then I wanted more decimal, more points, more precision displayed, then I could select a larger number and it would show me more decimal points, or more uh, figures after that decimal point.